What's up guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just gonna shoot this review real quick. Turn it up so you can see. Boost, Ultra Boost that is, mid TR Kith non-native collaboration size 10.5 uh, i've been wearing 10.5 in the ultra boost mid uh since it first dropped it's very comfortable for me i have plenty of room the only issue is getting it on with the elastic liner around the collar and let me just pop these out and get into it so let's just get right into this bad boy you got ultra boost mid atr silhouette cages 3m prime knit upper so you guys can see that white striping going through the top portion there that's all reflective when you hit it with the right light so the asymmetrical pattern or patchwork inspired patterns means that it, it looks like patchwork going throughout the whole thing and they're all different and spread out but the knit going through there is still 3m so you get a different reflective on both shoes which is kind of fire uh it's a denser prime knit technology also so it's a little bit warmer for the winter time if you guys are going to wear these in the winter just a heads up on that this uh taped mud guard that goes across the um toe capping area and then along the uh, side paddle on the lateral side and the medial side and the three stripes uh is I would say weathered enough where if you stepped in a puddle, it's not going to seep into the prime knit, at least not in those areas, which is pretty doped. Uh, they, they call them taped panels, but whatever. Uh, Co-branded nylon tongue tabs with metal eyelets. So you got these little co-brands up here. RF on one, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little bit difficult. RF on the right shoe with your little grommet in here in metal and black and then on the other the n for non-native a little closer so you guys can see it that way same thing stamped in there same thing on the footbeds you have i'll pull it out so you guys can see it uh, non-native and kith co-branded on the footbeds that's on both shoes a little 3m reflective on the adidas branding kind of clean kind of fire uh you could really wear this shoe with or without the footbed also if you feel like you might have went a little snug you can pull this out it's super thin as you guys can see but if you want just a little bit of extra room it's still comfortable with or without this piece of whatever footbed <laughs> uh pull tabs on the back and a black plastic striping going through it for the three stripes gives you that 3m reflective also nice little pop to it very very clean uh plastic heel cup going across the back portion of the shoe the only thing that really throws me off on the shoe itself is basically these little nipples uh hanging off the outside of the uh the outsole uh if you look down this way you can see a little bit so you can see them all protruding from the sides here it's kind of obtrusive for me and i was thinking about cutting it off i think i started on one of them I don't even know which one I started on. One of them I started just cutting the uh, the nipple off and I'm probably gonna continue to do that just so I give it a different feel and it's not gonna change the traction of the shoe whatsoever because it's all raised on the actual outsole of the shoe. I have the original here so you guys can see the differential. There's like a ton of garbage stuck to the bottom of it. I don't know where that tape came from. But same thing on the Continental uh, outsole but you can see the blocks are a little bit more raised. I'll turn it this way so you can see how much thicker it is from one to the other, just to give you a heads up. So it's definitely built more for a rugged terrain or in the rain or snow or whatever have you. Definitely clean though, it, it's it's not the best boost mid or ultra boost mid to come out, but I'm not mad at it whatsoever. I am mad at the fact that he dropped a friends and family and it's all black with the silver heel cup. Heel cup. Uh, very frustrating that he keeps doing that to me, or us, <laughs> more specifically me. <laughs> <laughs> very upset about it but whatever you get two different laces in here you got a flat black with the it says metal in the blog but it doesn't feel like metal it may be i mean it bends pretty easily so i doubt it's metal yeah it's plastic so you got uh silver plastic tips or agalets on the tips of the laces uh black rope with a 3m hit looks like going through them and then uh just a flat black lace with the silver plastic aglets on the spare very clean very dope um not a lot of branding on here which i like also except for these two hits here price point was kind of crazy for 240 uh i am wearing the non-native jeans uh, the only items that i did pick up from the entire collection um 338 on the non-native site it's for roughly 40,000 yen, translates to $338 US. 464 or $66 were the collaborative jeans that I'm wearing right now, which is kind of crazy. That's a very high markup, maybe for import tax, but I, I think that that's a little wild for a pair of jeans, but they do fit nice. So you'll see them with the fit or the on foot for these shoes. Uh, this will be the first of many reviews that I have to do for shoes. So um, the last video I posted for the LPU, I said to go vote for whatever you 
guys want to see. I had to do this one just because I feel like people are still trying to buy them and uh, the market isn't that crazy. So for sizing, you can go TTS. Um, you can go 0.5 up also. The only thing you have to worry about is the collar. But once you get the collar on a few times, it's going to stretch out. So don't let that be the hindering process or hinder you when making a decision on what size to get. If a 10 and a half is what you wear, get the 10 and a half, you'll break the collar in. If you like a little extra room, go for the 0.5 up. It just depends. And if they feel like they're a little bit snug in what you got, the option is to take the the very, very thin footbed out, but it will give you a little extra room. Other than that, I'm getting out of here. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, questions or comments, as always, comment section. And if you're still trying to enter the raffle, it's going on until Friday, December 1st. Uh, in the description will be a link to gleam.io. You can just enter that way. Super easy, super simplistic. And uh, I guess I'll notify the winners Friday afternoon or whenever the raffle ends. All right, peace.